I'm gonna show you how easy it is to cut yourself out and put anything you want behind you using a free app called CapCut. Now for this tutorial, I'm using my iPad to fill up the screen, but if you're using a phone, it looks exactly the same, except the ratio is a little bit different. And if you're using a desktop, it does look different, but the tools are still the same, so you will be able to follow along. With that out of the way, pull the clip that you wanna put something behind into the timeline. And what we wanna work with here is only the clip that you wanna put something behind. So if the footage that you've pulled in is too long, simply tap on it, split it, and then delete the section that you don't wanna use. So the only thing that's gonna be left is the footage that you wanna put something behind. Now for this video, we're gonna put text behind us, but you can go wild and put anything you want behind you. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's tap on text down at the bottom. Let's add text, and it's gonna add text up here. Now, it might look different when it loads up for you, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna leave it big and yellow. I don't know how it's gonna look when you load it. I think this is what I was using the last time. That's why it looks this way. So I'm gonna type in subscribe. Just like that, and I'm going to tap the check mark. Then I'm gonna use two fingers, and I'm gonna pinch and zoom to get it nice and big exactly how I want it. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna press and hold the text down at the bottom, and I'm gonna bring it to the very beginning of the text. I'm gonna tap on it, and then I'm gonna stretch it the entire length of the text. So it looks like this. Next thing we're going to do is animate this to come in. So with it selected, go down to the bottom and tap on animations. And you're gonna see lots of different animations that show up at the bottom. And again, the one with the pro tags on them, those are for paid users. The ones without the pro tag are the ones that you can use for free. I'm gonna keep this easy and just tap on typewriter. And that's how I want it to come this in. Is the best free then I'm gonna tap on out. So we have an animation in and we have an animation out. And for that, I'm gonna make it fly out. So it's gonna type in and it's gonna fly out. Then I'm gonna go over to font to make sure I have the right font selected. Now I usually use a font called Montserrat and that's already selected, but if it looks differently, you can go through and you can choose a font that works for you. I'm using Montserrat. Then I'm gonna tap on the check mark. And now what we have is a type in and a fly away. Now we're gonna export this with the text on top of it, but first you need to check the settings. I'm gonna tap where it says 1080p, and because I shot this in 4K, I'm gonna crank it up to 4K. Then I'm gonna tap on the arrow. It's gonna render everything, export it, and save it in your camera roll. Then tap on done when it's finished, and it's gonna bring you back to the project area. Next, you wanna create a new project. Tap on new project, select the clip that you just rendered, add it to the timeline, and you can see that we now have one clip with the text on top. The next thing you wanna do is go to overlay and get the original clip. So we're gonna to go to overlay, we're gonna find the original clip. We're gonna add that. And you wanna make sure that the overlay clip is perfectly aligned with the other clip. It should fall into place by default, but if it doesn't, you can tap on it and you can move it around. Now the next step is really important. With the overlay selected, make sure that you increase the size of that overlay to match the size of the original. So I'm just going to pinch and zoom until the border goes from blue to white that means that everything is perfectly aligned with the same size. And with it selected, I'm gonna go down to the tools at the bottom and I'm going to tap on remove background, remove BG. I'm gonna tap on that, then I'm gonna tap on auto removal. Now, depending on the device that you use, this could take a couple of seconds or it could be instant. It will tell you once it's removed when it's ready. And when it is, you tap on the check in the bottom right hand corner. And now if you tap on the timeline to unselect it and hit play, here's what you're going to see you're gonna see that the text is now between the original layer and the overlay. And it flew away. So it's sandwiched in between. You have the original layer with the text imprinted on it, and you have the overlay where it's cut out the background. And once you've confirmed that everything is exactly how you want it, you simply render this out the same way you did the others. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna crank it up to 4K. I'm gonna export that. It's gonna export that back to my camera roll. Then I'm gonna pull that final clip into my final edit 
and I'm gonna use that clip in my video and I'm gonna render that out as a full video. And this is just one simple thing that you can do with this. You can add as much text as you want. You can go wild with graphics. You can put stickers. You could put the stock market ticker if you want. You could put other videos. Go wild, be creative and have fun. And if you wanna dive even deeper into CapCut, click on either video shown on the screen right now and I'll help you do that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.